What up, guys? Um, it's my first time ever doing this. <laughs> um, big up Paul, let me do it. Big up uh, Hexagoddess for the meditation. <laughs> Sweet spot for putting it all together. And I'm just grateful to be here, and I'm, you should be grateful that you're here as well. Because um, being alive is pretty dope. So um, I have some tunes I want to show you guys in this. Um, and... Also, I want to mention that, sorry about the sweatiness, but my friend Shakai and I ran to the top of this mountain, um, literally ran, like we were, we were, hi I've never hiked this fast in my life, it's like a 2.2 mile hike to the top, and um, we wanted to catch it by sunset, we knew we were short on time, I threw my yoga mat down as soon as we got up there, it's not on a perfect surface, which actually I love, um, it helps me gain more stability when I am on perfect surfaces, when I practice on surfaces that aren't perfect, so it was pretty cool. Um, I was in a hurry, but I wasn't, so we were in a hurry until we hit the yoga mat to the floor. Once we got to the peak, then we just, I knew that it was time to just breathe and chill, which is what I want you guys to do now too, so um, grab your mat. I mean, I hope you're, hopefully you're already on it, you're ready to go, but um, and let's begin, so. Uh, then we're going to start with a forward fold, and it's just a forward fold, except for we're going to bring our shoulders up, tighten them, and then let off from the hips up. Now, your legs will keep you up, and then your whole front body, top, top body, will just completely fall. I grab my hair and pull my spine down, it decompresses my spine, and then I just let myself flop. We're going to rise all the way up. Just glorious movements, moving this glorious body, and then decompress everything. Let's go back down. Let's hit our first down dog. And in the down dog, you know, flex the calves, kind of walk around. This is when I'm like, oh fuck, like I'm actually gonna be in this. I'm gonna be doing this. We're gonna be doing this. And it feels so lovely. Get up on the toes. Let's go into, I think it's called Cobra, um, just a nice push, Oof. flex your arms, get up on the toes, this hurts, but it feels good, so just do it to the best of your ability, and then we'll just go out, I was actually, we'd hiked so quickly that my muscles started to Charlie horse a little bit, so you'll see me kind of like flinch out of stuff, and it was nice actually working my muscles that hard and then just immediately stretching them on the top. So left leg up in the air. We're gonna flip up into wild thing. Um I love this one. It feels good. Be powerful when you come up into I don't know what you call this, a flag. throw our leg forward um, I think it's a warrior and then we're gonna straighten the front leg and go into a triangle and then come forward stretch that side body out heavy mm, delicious now um, right arm goes to the ground or wait I, oh yeah yeah left arm goes underneath and we're gonna we're gonna attach in the back if you can Pull your neck out, should be popping, should be feeling so good. All the while we're breathing. Left hand goes up in the air. And now, one of my favorite poses ever. Right, drop that knee down to the ground, and we're gonna put both elbows on the ground. If you can't get um, your forearms down, just keep your hands on, you know, whatever feels good. This is a hip opener, and this whole sequence is gonna be really hip opening. And we're gonna spend some time here, so just. Any, any sort of resistance that you're feeling, um, that's where you're going to direct your breath. So huge inhales, and then we're going to exhale and imagine the breath going to that tense section where you're resisting it just falling into what I call full skeleton. And full skeleton is where you're able to just let off completely um, and let your, your skeleton take the weight of everything. You shouldn't be resisting this, just sitting in it. And it will hurt probably. Don't do it to the point where it's, you know, obviously unhealthy. Just f find that resistance and just guide your breath to it and breathe. This is going to be releasing a bunch of shit. So we're going to come up out of this now. Um, 
slider left foot across the mat into pigeon, tall pigeon, square hips, tip your head back, and if you can, um, reach back and grab your right foot, put it in the elbow pit, and connect your hands at the top. And if you can't do this, just breathe in the square, uh, square hipped pigeon. It's important to keep the hips square. It's a little, it's easy to sort of flop around, but if you keep them square, now we're just gonna lay down and we're gonna catch some breaths here as well. This is gonna be huge on the hips. Um, I love hip stuff, so again, we're gonna we're gonna find our breath here and just guide that guide that breath to the resistance. Um, just breathe, man. Fuck, you deserve this. You deserve this. This is good. This is lovely. You do this because you deserve to feel good. And it feels good, feeling good. So we do more of it. We keep going and we keep breathing. And we find circumstances in our lives to allow us to be able to find this practice and do it. And we continue on. And we breathe. Make sure you're big, a big inhale again. We're gonna come up to the elbows. Um, it was getting intense for me, so I came up to my elbows. I'm still breathing heavy. Bowing to the oneness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sky's a little shaky with the camera, but <laughs> man, if you guys only knew how this ended up getting to this stream. Um, so now we're gonna come into, I believe it's called, I learned it in on tour with Boogie T actually. I went to a yoga class alone before one of the sessions and it's called Heavenly Pose. And we're gonna go, she didn't film this very well, but it's 90 degrees from the legs out. I have my left leg um, parallel to the top of the mat and my right leg parallel to the side of the mat. And I'm just falling back into my hips and it feels so good. This is one of my all time all-time favorite poses. I, I hit this as much as I can, usually. I'll just sit here and breathe. And you're gonna catch resistance, of course. So again, guide that breath straight to it. Pull your legs in. We're gonna go into deer pose, another huge hip opener. Arms above the head, breathing in. Exhale down, forward. And again, hips. I hope you feel this. I hope you feel this. Ooh. Breathe about it. Are you alright? Cause like, if you're not alright, just don't be for these moments. This is why we do it. Just breathe about it. There was the weird ass little alien bug here that we had to film. <laughs> it, um, yeah, seriously, I've never seen one like this before. Hopefully you can see it. It's super weird. It was like, it seriously looked like a movie. I don't know. I don't know what kind of bug this is. Pretty cute though. Also weird. So that's the, that's one side done. We're just gonna breathe about it. She kind of chatting. Ha ha ha, what a major hike we just did and straight into this yoga sequence. Uh, it wasn't a major hike, it was just the speed at which we took it. It was intense, so let's push back up um, <clears throat> into a down dog. Slowly letting that hip out, breathing all about it. Oh, oh, yes, yes. So let's jump into Cobra, flex your arms, push your back, push the toes, down dog again. And this time we're gonna bring the right leg straight up into the air. Um, keep your hips square, it sucks at first, keeping the hips square, but that's the stretch, and then we flip out into wild thing. So let's just keep that right leg extended. And it's hard uh, to keep it square because you want to just flop out, but now you can flop out. Let's go into wild thing. And right here, I have weird shoulders. I've popped them out a bunch, so I'm careful, but if you can f throw it around, it's really nice. And then we're just gonna flex our body and stretch our side and breathe. Now let's throw that right foot all the way to the top of the mat into warrior again. And then we're gonna straighten the right leg and go into triangle. Um, 
my apologies, I'm not actually a certified yoga instructor yet, so I don't know the names of stuff, but I just love this sequence and I wanted to share it with everyone. So leaning forward, side body, um, hand on the right ankle, and then we're gonna put our right arm under our right leg and connect our hands and then pull our left shoulder and look towards the sky. And this is gonna open up our chest a bunch. Left knee goes down to the mat, left hand goes down to the mat, right arm in the sky, stretching and twisting. And mm, 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 ink. I love this pose. Push it out, straighten the leg, whatever, whatever feels good in between shit. I bend my neck, I pull my hair, whatever. Um, let's throw our arms down to the ground. And this is where that hip comes in. Forearms down. If you can't get the forearms down, like I said, keep put your hands down. Just leave them down. Um, we're just trying to push on that hip. It's going to feel so good. If you can get your chest to the floor, um, I I would try it if it's comfortable. I've done it a couple times in yin practice when um, there's hot yoga. I'm extra flexible. So take some breaths here. Um, and again guide that breath to the resistance and just try to go full skeleton just breathe this is on Maitland's Peak in Ogden, Utah um, I just wanted to show you guys the sites some of my favorite places to be I didn't want to just do it in my office or something so. <sighs> huge breaths we're just going to breathe about this one Um, right leg is going to go across the mat we're going to go into pigeon um, again I actually fall out of this one but if you can get it go for it my legs were tense and you know so we're going to I was actually thinking about it I was like should I do it I'm not really feeling it <laughs> and then I put my left foot in my elbow pit and it just doesn't quite work out so if you're able to do it get it and if not do what I do fall out of it oh yeah I just couldn't hang but that's okay that's part of my practice today just a little bit of failure is good and the next time I nail it it'll be good so we're just pigeoning our hips are straight we're breathing and when, then we're gonna just lower our body into it. Oi, oi. I just want you to breathe. Thank you for existing. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Look, you don't even know me. I know that you exist, and I know that you can hear me, and I love you for that. Oh, make sure you keep your hips square here. Go as low as you can and just breathe. Honestly, if you don't do any of the stretching and you're just breathing, you'll obtain probably more benefits than doing the stretching without breathing. I think breathing, it's just, it's, it's, it's honestly, yeah. It's huge. It's our connection. So we're just going to breathe in pigeon. Shakai found out that I was, um, okay. So here's, here's the pose again. It's parallel with the top of the map, parallel with the side of the map. It's like a swastika symbol. I always think when I'm in it and then I just lay it back and my hip just goes, boy. Tucked in my shirt so I didn't like fly up. It's funny. Um, hmm. okay, I can, I can, I'm just sitting here doing a voiceover, but I can feel it in my hips. <laughs> I love this fucking pose. Yeah. 
you can kind of twist and push and just kind of decide where you want to flex. Like I'll, I'll, I'll adjust my upper body so that my hip sort of flexes in different spots as I'm doing it. And yeah. We're gonna pull our legs in now for deer pose. So zoop, just like that. And just breathe it out. And then we're gonna put our arms up above our head for an inhale and then just lay down. Mm. And if you have some dirt or grass, just grab it. Right here, I was just grabbing the dirt and just like grinding it in my hands. And I remember just being like, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Feels good just touching the earth. My back's finally not as sweaty as it was. <laughs> and now we're just gonna fall back a little. I just kind of mess with this in different positions. I wanted to see about deer pose up, deer pose down. Um, it's a hip thing. I just fuck with the hips and stretching them out is like one of my favorite things. So. the energy come up to the front of the mat however you please however you can and we're just gonna do some forward folds again letting off completely at the top of the body and just having my legs hold me up as I just fall halfway up back back down and then we're gonna come all the way up again oh just kidding we're just flopping it back down dog and then just hit some Oh, oh, yes. Just like wide legged, like gonna be cat cow, but then just like fall into it. Whatever you gotta do right here, honestly. I was just feeling myself. I was just like, hmm, like I need my back moved. I need like to twist a little. So I just kind of mess around. And then I just did some cat cows, I think. Here you go. Inhale. Exhale on the cat. Inhale when you're down like this is down, inhale. And then just breathe. And we're just gonna twist a little. Now it looks like I'm not doing much, but I'm kind of like I'm I'm directing myself into a headstand. So if you have headstand, go for it. If you don't, try it. Um while we're up in this headstand, of course headstand, but what I want you to do is loosen your hips. And I had to stand to, to do more hip stretching because right now my legs look like they're just kind of like doing this cool pose, but really they're, they're really, really loose and they're falling under their own weight to stretch themselves out. So just breathe and breathe and breathe and let your hips just fall while you're in headstand. And they'll just kind of flop around and it stretches them so good. One of the main reasons I recommend headstand is for this. do whatever honestly hold headstand like as long as you can i was on an uneven surface which made it even more fun like i said because when i go to like studios i'm just a rock solid headstand machine obviously handstands and shoulder stands are next if you can get into that do it this is your inversion time so whatever Ooh. let the blood flow come back in yogi squat can't yogi squat practice that shit this looks easy but it's actually a thing it's easy once you get it i guess finding gratitude for myself and for my ability to give myself this experience i'm just breathing i'm just loving child's pose you know Thank you. 
I'm strong. I'm strong. Look at it. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. But I'm strong. Now let's just sit and grab our toes. Put your put your toes in your wrists. And that's gonna do it. And then just flop forward. I like to do a lot of flopping where my body does stretch and I'm not resisting anything. Let's lay back down and just again, just just move. I don't even care what you do. As long as you're breathing and just doing your thing. Just flop around. It's just too good. Let's go into wheel. Um, so hands above the head. If you can't do this, definitely don't. You'll probably screw yourself up. Um, if you can, hit it because it's, it's just good for the back. We've been leaning forward a lot. So we're just gonna just counter stretch. Now we're gonna hit happy baby. And happy baby is just, well, delicious. I have my own rendition of happy baby we're gonna hit next where we just grab the ankles. So breathe in and then just grab your ankles and just let your hips fall out. So I have just my ankles now and my hips are just falling out. The only thing that's, that's enabled right now or like active is my hands to hold my legs and that is it. Otherwise I'm full skeleton. I'm just breathing. and I'm tightening my body. I'm feeling where I bring my air. I can feel everything moving. I can feel my niss is nissed and I've been blessed with bliss. And that's pretty much it, so. Thanks for fucking doing this with me. It's my first time, so. Tell me what you guys thought. I'll definitely be doing more of this. I wanna get certified sooner, sooner than later and really grateful to have shared this with you guys so thank you um hexagoddess is going to be doing a meditation and i hope you guys enjoyed all the new tunes uh, those are coming out soon too so bless all my love and respect push waves <laughs>